Welcome to lecture 13. In this lecture, we will integrate the VR that we have built into the Strawberry Fields dashboard. Inside the dashboard, the VR will come to life because it's going to be connected to the database that holds the sensor data. That means that our key inputs are no longer necessary, but I leave them anyway for debugging and testing purposes. But for a real life situation, you might consider to take them out. Please be aware that we are using scripts that will be explained in later sections, so you might consider to come back to this lecture after you have finished these sections. We start by copying our project files into the web server structure. The public folder is the root for our Strawberry Fields dashboard. Inside it, we'll copy our assets folder, the model folder with the strawberry bin and GLTF file, and the texture folder holding the four ripeness textures. In the GS subfolder, we copy our vendor folder with of course the FreeJS library, the orbit controls and GLTF loader modules. Also into the GS subfolder, we will copy our model script. The project structure will undergo some changes. For the HTML side, this means that from the index document, we take the model element and place it inside the dashboard document. From the JavaScript side, it means that the model script is no longer our main script, but the dashboard script will be our new main script. To make things work, we have to export functions from our model script into the dashboard script. This we can do with a simple export and import because they are both modules. As discussed in one of the earlier lectures, the model element will be smaller inside the dashboard, but we will respect the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. So the new values will be 424 by 240 pixels. This means that we have to make some small adjustments in the dashboard document where we have placed the model element. So the minimum width and minimum height values will have to be adjusted. As the dashboard script and model script are both placed inside the same folder, we need to adjust the paths that we have used inside our model script. Therefore we need to adjust the texture path and the path that we have used to load our GLTF model. Inside the model script we also need to make some other adjustments because in our web application the init function will be called from the dashboard script. This means that we remove the call to the init function from the model script. Further we place the call to the animate function inside the init function. So altogether, the init and animate functions are no longer called when loading the model script, but there's some sort of a chain reaction. So the dashboard script will call the init function, and the init function will call the animate function. As discussed earlier, from the model script, we will export the functions init, ripeness and brightness. And in our dashboard script, we will import model. Then it's time to make our VR come alive. So let's first take a look at the brightness and how it can be connected to our sensor data. The sensor data is retrieved from the database using the URL, then it's converted to a JSON format and finally stored in a data frame using the clean data method. Then we store the ambient light values into a new array that's called light values. While storing, we filter out values below zero. The sensor data we receive are lux values which are ranged between 0 and 64,000. Lux values say something about how humans perceive light intensity, but are not linear. Therefore we use the proposed algorithm of this article to come to a range from 0 to 100. It is a 10 base logarithm of the Lux value multiplied by 20. So from our light values array, we take the last index and use this value in the algorithm. This is stored in the Lux scaled variable. Then we do an extra check to make sure that negative numbers are set to zero. Now it's time to call the init function of our model script and then we call the brightness function giving in the lux scaled value as argument. The brightness function will treat this value as the intensity argument and will set the intensity of our lights and the color of the background. And that's how we connect the brightness of our virtual reality to the sensor data. Then we have to make the connection to the prediction we will receive from the machine learning algorithm. 
For this, we simply need to add some lines of script in the prediction file function. So when the result label is larger than zero, we will send the label as argument to our ripeness function. We subtract one because our ripeness function expects values between zero and four. So zero, one, two, and three. And that finishes up this section. Now we have fully integrated our virtual reality into the Strawberry Fields dashboard and make it come alive with a real sensor data.